So, you're buying a new car. But don't let that new car smell go to your thinky parts. Because reality shows on MTV aren't the only place where people try to pimp your new ride with showy extras you don't need. And check this out. You got five exonic monitors. Ooh. You officially been pimped. So yes, at last, here's that Pimp My Ride party you've been waiting for. About fucking time. Car dealers are always trying to increase their profit margins. That's why after you've haggled and bargained and finally signed the contract, it's likely you'll be introduced to somebody called the aftermarket accessory specialist. What? Whose job is to sell okay, you? Okay, dog. Don't call me that. To keep your fly new ride looking fresh, you're gonna need a protection package. We're talking a unique collection of top quality stuff for keeping your luxury vehicle in hella pristine condition. Dealerships love flogging you protection packages. It's their version of would you like fries with that. Sometimes they're a product of the car brand. BMW Seal and Protect. Which uses a special impregnating agent. That was my nickname in high school. But many dealers outsource to a third party service, like Motor One, who claim they treat one in every two new cars on the road in Australia with their high performance exterior and interior coating. And with descriptions for their products like the X Pack, you can see why. Extreme! Self cleaning. Nanotechnology. Fatty Shield. And all this doesn't come cheap either. One dealership quoted us over two grand for the X Pack. Damn straight it's expensive. What if I told you we also protect a new car with French champagne? I'd have to take your word for it, because when we spoke to Motor One and asked what the claims of their X-Pack were based on or whether they'd ever been independently tested, they responded through a lawyer who told us... We are aware of the style of the program and decline to comment. So there it is. Motor One's answer to do you have evidence your product works or has ever been tested is no. Comment. Best lawyer up, son. I've asked dealers if they use their own protection systems on their cars and they invariably say no. So my advice is don't bother. Wash your car regularly, wax it once a year and you'll be fine. Any true player knows, to keep your car cool, you've got to get those windows tinted. Well, maybe. Car insurer RACV says there's little evidence that tinting provides any real benefit in keeping a car cool. Say what? Temperature cool. And it could be dangerous. The Institute of Transportation Engineers Australia and New Zealand says there's increasing evidence that tinting has a detrimental effect on road safety, making it harder to see pedestrians and cyclists at night. <laughs> And when it comes to protecting your skin, the Cancer Council says that regular car windows already block about 97% of UVB radiation and 37% of UVA radiation. So unless you're spending a lot of time in the car with your kids, it's really not worth it. But if you do spend as much time in the car as, say, a travelling salesperson or a truckie... Or a pimp. ..then it might be worth it. Ah, and when it comes to glare, the RACV says just wear sunglasses, which unlike tinted windows can be easily removed on cloudy days or at night. Speak for yourself, shorty. <sighs> Tinting is mainly cosmetic, so if you really want it, shop around first to make sure you're getting the best price and quality because, again, the dealer could overcharge you for it. Oh, yeah, I'm selling like it ain't no thing. <laughs> To navigate your way around the hood, we're going to hook you up with a brand new, state-of-the-art, inbuilt GPS. If you're willing to pay heaps more to have your GPS built in, that's up to you. And most new models come with them already, but they usually come with maps that need expensive new updates every few years. In many states in Australia, you can just use your smartphone as a GPS. Compton. Did you say Canberra? If and only if it's secured to a commercially designed holder that's fixed to the vehicle that you can't touch while you're driving. That'll cost you around 50 bucks. Hold up. If you're in Tasmania, South Australia or the ACT in your whip... That means car. You can't even use the GPS on your phone at all. No, but you can use a regular portable GPS that'll cost you a few hundred bucks. And they often come with map updates for the life of the product. Don't hate the player. Hate the game! Unnecessarily pin my ride. In 
expensive new ride, you're gonna need extra protection that's loaded with terms and conditions. We're gonna take your warranty and put your warranty on top of your warranty. Extended warranties are a huge money maker for dealers who can often get commissions of more than 50%. Like we always say on the checkout. Ooh, making uh, it rain. Ask what this warranty will get you that the Australian consumer law doesn't already. Which means new cars must be of acceptable quality, durable, and reasonably fit for purpose. Consumer groups say you should be wary of extended warranties and that they can be a dubious investment. That's what those fools said about my grills business. They can be expensive, difficult to claim, and can force you to service your car at a specific time and place at your cost. Sounds just like my girl. Even if you fulfil all of the conditions and all of the paperwork, you still may not be covered because some extended warranties give the provider absolute discretion to say no to your claim. No one's ever said no to this claim. Get out! So when you're buying a new car, before you go pimping it out, shop around. <laughs> and save your money for things that you'll actually need. Like an inbuilt, customised oh disco my aquarium. Oh my God. Not one, oh but two top oh ones. He just got pimped! Yes, dear.